Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here with a wintry card in a fun snowy background that I created using some gouache paints that I've been playing with a lot lately and really enjoying. I'm starting off with just a panel of white heavyweight cardstock. This is Nina 110 pound. You don't need watercolor paper or anything like that. I'm using uh, an American craft set. This is set two. It's kind of some paler, softer colors. Um, the set one is a little more primary bold colors. I really like them both. Um, but for this card, I kind of wanted a soft, wintry, snowy background. So I'm mostly going to be using blues, but I'm using a tiny bit of um, kind of the dusty pink and the soft yellow and kind of the minty green color um, to add a little texture and fun in there as well. I'm using just a narrow flat brush. Um, any shape works, but I've really liked the flat brush. Um, and a mix of a whiter and a thinner would work well too. But I'm starting off just by kind of mixing the blues together. Um, and I ended up needing lots more of that light color than I um, thought I would, so I just kind of kept squeezing it out as I, as I needed it there. I didn't want to have too much out on my palette and end up wasting it, um, so I just kind of kept putting a little more out here and there as I needed. So I'm trying to kind of create um, a little bit of sort of an ombre background, so the lighter to the darker blue, and then I just started picking up those other colors. And the flat brush works really well for just kind of um, brushing a little bit in there and leaving kind of that brush stroke look which is kind of fun and then i ended up finishing on the bottom with a little more of the blue to kind of wash it in and then um, round it out with a few more of those little color it's just kind of a fun mix and match and and it's a good way to play with it don't overwork it um, it might be tempted and you can see some of the spots where i did that a little bit more and i needed to clean my brush and the color started to get a little muddy um, they didn't get too far that way and you can always color over it like i did there with a little more of the blue but um, feel free to just leave that texture in there. That's part of what makes it so fun. Can you kind of see how, f um, how much fun color and texture you just get on that background? It's very, very fun to play with. All right, so now we're gonna add some snowflakes over the top. So I grabbed a sentiment and um, a few, or the two snowflake stamp images from the September 2019 Kit of the Month. I'm gonna heat emboss these on some vellum and I just kind of have some little scraps here. I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment first on a strip that's a little wider than um, my painted panel. I'm going to be able to attach this across the front and I'm going to do that with white embossing powder. And then um, I started off, I was going to do gold and then I realized I really wanted that sentiment to pop in white with that. Um, and then I was going to do my snowflakes in white as well, but I ended up kind of switching that up and um, doing those in gold. I love heat embossing on vellum. Um, it heats and melts so quickly. I don't know if you could see that there. And, uh, and it adds such an ethereal, soft, um, pretty effect. So I like using my little scraps of vellum up for things like this as well too. So it was a great way to kind of mix and match and fit a few things in. So um, I could, I'm going to fussy cut these out. So that's going to work really well just to um, get them all on there and stamp them and cut them out and I think I added the other snowflake I wanted because it was clear embossing ink I wanted to be able to see where that bigger snowflake was so I didn't um, overlap them as I uh, stamped them so I went and put my embossing powder on first then sprinkled it on the other one this way I can heat set them all at the same time but uh, like I said I didn't want them to overlap on accident there so and there was a little bit of a flaw in that other scrap of vellum so I needed to fit it on the first scrap not the second one all right, so now those are all heat set um, nice and beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut those out. I just kind of sped through that. Um, the vellum is so soft and easy and um, nice to fussy cut out. And I'm not doing it too detailed because the vellum edges are kind of sheer and aren't going to show that much anyway. All right, now that sentiment, you can see it's a little wider than that painted panel, which is an A2 card panel. And my, one of my favorite ways to attach a vellum like that with a sentiment is just wrap it around the back and add some good sturdy adhesive on the back to hold it there and then um, it'll work perfectly across the front with no adhesive to have to worry about hiding. Now the snowflakes, since I um, heat embossed those in gold, that's going to work really well because you won't see the adhesive peeking through. So I'm using a tiny bit of liquid, um, I'm just using glossy accents and it doesn't take much. The vellum is not too hard to hold in place and just a little bit in the center and you never see it and the edges can curl up nice and free and add dimension and a little extra texture to go with that background. And there's the finished card. Thanks so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll play with this technique a little. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.